Even before Russia has unveiled its new single-engine stealth fighter, some Western experts are berating it as a copy of a design that the US once contemplated, while some in the Indian media are falsely claiming that it will take 10 years for the aircraft to be ready. <laughs> a new teaser was released yesterday by Rostock Corporation, in which we saw some more glimpses of the new aircraft, and that the aircraft will fly under the Shukhoi banner. An expert on the Russian military with the Center for the New American Security in Washington has said that Russia will sell the new fighter jet to countries that the U.S. State Department won't allow to buy the F-35, and a number of nations that are already friendly to Russian military exports will line up for the new stealth fighter jet. Rostock Corporation also shared an image of what appeared to be an infrared sensor, which appeared similar to the electro-optical targeting system that is mounted under the fuselage of the F-35. The former deputy chief of the integrated defense staff has said that the pending MMRCA program has been renamed as MRFA, and it is an opportunity for restructuring the Indian fighter aircraft industry. He also said that the 114 MRFA acquisition winner should be linked to the AMCA program, and to accelerate the AMCA program, foreign partnership with risk-sharing investment in the project is necessary, as consultancy is a waste of time and money. He also pointed out some restructuring strategy, that Hindustan Aeronautics must be restructured to create two competitive design and manufacturing entities, and private investment and management should be brought in to create efficiency and competitive culture. He also said, that Hindustan Aeronautics Bangalore division should be focused on the manufacturing of the Tejas and Ted BF fighter jet, while the Nasik division should be separated as an independent aircraft industry with separate design bureau with private investment for the 114 MRFA project, that would enable its linkage to the AMCA program. In a significant development, Air India has transferred its A319 aircraft to the DRDO, that will be used as an in-house flying test bed aircraft for various airborne radar programs for the Indian military. Some of the initial programs that will be using A319 as test bed, includes the next generation ASA radar for the AMCA program, scaled up variant of the active electronically scanned array radar for the Netra Mark II program, as well as Navy's multi-mission maritime aircraft senior suite program. Using the A319 will help to obtain better data faster than ever before, and technologies will be tested at higher altitudes and faster speeds. The BrahMos extended range missile had recently suffered developmental failure, while it was about to demonstrate 800 km range with additional fuel and some changes to the airframe. Industrial sources have said that the solid propellant booster developed by the DRDO's High Energy Materials Research Laboratory had failed after 10 seconds in the launch, due to which the missile dwelled back to the mobile launch platform, which was also destroyed in the process. Scientists from Brahmos Corporation are looking into the matter, but the initial findings points towards the solid propellant booster failure due to technical issues at the manufacturing process, and not due to a design issue. The Ministry of Defense had signed two contracts worth $1.9 billion with Garden Reach Shipbuilders and Cochin Shipyard for 16 anti-submarine warfare shallow water crafts for the Navy in April 2019, and each shipyard is responsible for building eight vessels under the contracts. After the steel-cutting ceremony of the first ship in December 2020, Garden Reach Shipbuilders has now begun construction of the second and third ships and officials have said that the first ship is expected to be delivered in October 2022, and the remaining ships will be delivered by April 2026. The detailed project report on the Indian multi-role helicopter program will be ready by November, after which Hindustan Aeronautics will approach the Cabinet Committee on Security for project sanction of around 10,000 crore rupees by the end of this year. All the three services are on board the project, 
and the Navy has already given their requirements, while the Army and the Air Force have promised to give the preliminary services qualitative requirements by September. HAL is hoping to secure the CCS sanction for the project in 2022, and in the meantime HAL has put in its money for preliminary works. Oh, Mark, watch it.